Hi everyone, I hope you're having a really blessed day. Um, today, as I'm sure you saw in the title, I'm going to go ahead and review the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. This is what it looks like. Um, it has, I think, a standard, or not standard, um, 0.5 ounces or 15 mil. So it does not have a lot. Um, and it's, it's about half of what you typically get. And he's really expensive. But I got the shade 2.5. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of like redness and things to cover up. So um, I just had to try them. I am recently switching over to green beauty. Um, so organic, natural beauty. And so videos I do going forward will probably mostly be green beauty, organic beauty. Although you probably still will see some of my... That's Jack's. <laughs> Some of my more conventional products as well as I'm transitioning over and trying to use some stuff up um, But so far on my face I cleansed and toned and moisturized and then I put the 100% pure Mattifying primer really really been loving this So impressed with the 100% pure Really love them. I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick just because I feel like that's gonna give me a better idea like of how this looks sitting if I have my eyebrows done and I'm also using the 100% pure um, I think it's called their long last brow in soft brown this is what the packaging kind of looks like it's kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia one and this is what the inside looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll get started with the Gressa this is the very first time I'm gonna be using it so I'm really excited to see I saw it everywhere I could not help myself but to try it even though guys it was $70 70 holy moly for half of what you usually get and I some tutorials I've seen some say it lasts a really long time and others are like it goes really fast so I think that'll be the deciding factor of whether I repurchase this foundation depending on how long I had a heck of a time trying to shade match myself and I actually did email Gressa but they never got back to me and I emailed them Sunday night and it's Thursday now so they actually they do have a shade matching thing but they never got back to me so I'm not sure if that's typical but the description of this shade I, I wasn't really sure if there was a shade for me because there's three shades lighter the first one is like warm porcelain and it says it has subtle yellows which was the one i was gonna go for but didn't want it to be too yellow because i have more of a neutral undertone and the next two were fair light and one was warm and one was uh, cool which both don't work for me because they're gonna either pull too yellow or too pink and this was described as light i never a light in any foundation i'm either fair light or fair and so I kind of bit the bullet and just pick this one and actually I've only swatched it on my hand so far and it looks perfect so hopefully it looks perfect on my face so first we have to shake it really really good to make sure that the minerals mix with all the oils because this is a, a really serumy foundation like if you ever tried one before this is probably more serumy and I don't know if you can hear it but it's liquidy really really liquidy I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back of my hand and I squeeze some up here I'm gonna try to do like one two three and then just kind of wipe it off a little bit to start out with and if you can see I hope you can see that it's really it's pretty runny let's do this let's see if it covers all that I have going on here so obviously I'm just applying it with my fingers because I feel like that gives me the best coverage with really anything is to apply it with my fingers Oh, it's covering really nicely my redness. I'm just going to kind of do half of my face and then kind of show you 
what we're looking at so far okay so that's half of my face this is how much I have left from those three drops so I still have probably enough to do almost the other side maybe we'll see because I have a lot more discoloration on this side but here's kind of the difference I'll zoom you in just a tad so here's not done and then done so a really really big difference it covered redness really really nicely it's not really doing anything for my texture though but so let's go ahead and finish and then we'll see see how it looks so so this is just kind of using the rest of what was on my hand I'm gonna grab a few more drops just to try to cover up a little more of my discoloration okay so I went ahead and finished the rest of my face um, I probably I think I added two more drops so that's five drops altogether for this and honestly I didn't even need the five I probably could have only added one more drop at the end I really probably only needed four drops and you saw how discolored and everything my face was so I'm impressed and the shade match guys I don't know if you think so but wow it it almost like it's it's spot on like I don't know if you see my neck but to me it's spot on like I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then come back and let you guys know how it looks how I'm still feeling about it and just how it's going okay, so, so I'll be I right went back. ahead and finished the rest of my makeup um, I used um, pretty much all organic and natural products other than my eyeshadow and my eyeliner and my um, lip liner so my thoughts are it's really beautiful again I'm just kind of blown away with how um, with the coverage of this it being like a little serum and how well it covered um, to be honest I probably wouldn't wear it with like a full face of makeup like this on a day-to-day -day. I'd probably use it just for days that I'm just want to stick a little bit of something on it has great skincare benefits so I wouldn't feel guilty wearing it um, wearing it just on a day-to-day -day, not really for like a special event I probably if I wanted to do a full face I would probably wear my Jane Iredale glow time a full coverage BB cream um, instead another one I absolutely love if any if anybody wants to see a tutorial on that I would love to do that too because I'm in love with that as well um, I've been loving that and also the Alima pure satin matte um, powder foundation is another one I've just been loving so those are the three um, green organic foundations that I've just been absolutely loving um, so I can do tutorials on that as well but all in all it's expensive the Gressa skin minimalist is expensive but it's oh so beautiful and I can just imagine just putting some drops and just kind of spreading it and then just out the door so every day for like work or school I think it is absolutely perfect if you have the budget to spend on it so I'm hoping it doesn't break me out I'm gonna leave in the comments below how it wore all day because um, I do have um, more normal to combination I'm way more normal now that I've been um, I oil cleanse I can definitely get a little bit oily sometimes so we'll see how it goes um, but yeah all in all I'm absolutely in love I'm so glad I tried this um, and just lastly for shade comparisons real quick if you're not sure if you're as light as me or whatever um, in the Jane Iredell BB cream I wear BB 3 the second lightest in the Alima Pure, I wear Neutral 2. Um, I could probably do Neutral 1 though, um, but it matches pretty good. Um, in the A Cosmetics CC Cream, I'm in Fair. Um, Bare Minerals, I'm in um, Fair or Fairly Light. Um, yeah, so that was just some shade comparisons. I honestly, I don't do MAC, I don't really know. I think I was maybe in C20 when I did it. An NW20 I don't know something like that definitely lighter so just shade comparisons just if you're having a hard time to picking out again I was the shade 2.5 so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more of a close-up real quick on just how it's looking with the rest of my makeup just how lovely it looks it does um, dry down to like a um, kind of a powder finish um, it does kind of transfer when I touch my face just a little bit I did set it just because 
um, although it does dry down to like a powder almost matte finish um, to kind of like a satin matte it's so skin like it's oh my goodness it looks just like skin which is why I think it'd be really beautiful to wear in a day-to-day -day because you know I don't think I need makeup I don't you know feel like I have to wear it all the time but it is nice to color up the discoloration cover up the discoloration and just kind of let your other features just kind of show through so that's really nice so yeah this is what it looks like I'm really happy with it I was really nervous about the shade but I'm also really happy with that so even though I am a little more oily I wouldn't I wouldn't stray away from this but again I'm gonna leave in comments down below um, how it wore if I got extremely oily even with my um, my mattifying primer that I wear with it so if you guys have any other questions or do want to see the Jane Iredell um, BB cream in action or the Alima pure I probably will do a tutorial on both at some point using all the organic and natural products I've been buying lately I have just about a full face in them I just ordered um, a double-ended eyeliner from 100% Pure along with their illuminating primer and their black tea eyeliner so I'm so excited to try those as well as a um, concealer from Jane Iredell so I'm really excited to try that stuff um, been loving green beauty I'm excited to keep on um, on this journey um, I just think it's so important to know what are the ingredients of what you put on your face because your skin is absorbing the ingredients and I don't want to be putting those toxins on my body that can hurt my reproductive health or um, cause cancer or environmental things so it's just something to be aware of so I'm really loving it. it's definitely expensive switching over but I think it's also worth it so thank you so much for watching this video um, like I said I am gonna be doing more videos in the future I haven't been consistent about it in the past but I definitely plan on being consistent hopefully going forward so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this um, if you have any questions about the Grassa um, foundation please leave them below I'll totally answer anything for you and try to help you with your shade if you're close to me if I can um, but yeah just let me know um, but again thanks so much for taking time and sitting with me I'll be doing more videos so if you want to subscribe or like the video just to let me know that would be great um, if not, totally okay too, but thank you so much and I hope you have a really blessed day.